Hi, my name is Lily and I've been working in Vodafone technology for about 18 months now. I am a Discover graduate, which means I'm on the graduate scheme for two years and my current placement is in the SRE team, which looks after the Vodafone website. So tomorrow is Autism Acceptance Day. As a community, we prefer acceptance over awareness as we feel like people are generally pretty aware of autism, but acceptance is not as great and people don't tend to have as much of an understanding. So by calling it Autism Acceptance Day, we're able to centre on education and making sure that autistic people are heard and advocated for. Autism is a type of neurodivergence and it just means that our brains are wired differently and work a little bit differently to neurotypical people. Everybody who's autistic presents differently and will have different characteristics, but of course there will be some similarities between us, that's how we all get diagnosed. Autism isn't a single line spectrum, it is more like a spider web spectrum with lots of different spectrums coming off of it. So you could sit at various points on each of these spectrums which are different characteristics associated with autism. So for example, someone may have really poor eye contact but really amazing social skills. I found Vodafone technology to be really supportive. Everyone here has always been very open to being educated on autism and learning new things. And I've always been offered anything that I need to support me in my work, including things like Vodafone funding a mentor for me while I was settling in after leaving university and entering the world of work for the first time. I've always felt able to advocate for myself if I can't do something or need extra support and my strengths have been really encouraged here. My top tips for any allies are to listen to autistic people and make sure it is autistic people that are centred on Autism Acceptance Day. It's very easy to end up with the focus being on family members or experts, whereas autistic people are right there waiting to educate you and to be advocates for our own community. Take the time to listen to people, understand the current community sentiments, and when you're working with an autistic individual, to make sure you're communicating with that person directly to discuss their needs and their thoughts, rather than making any assumptions. As the saying goes in the autistic community, nothing about us without us.